In our last video, we discussed the importance of conducting pre-calibration checks to avoid a failed calibration. In this video, we're going to discuss the importance of performing a wheel alignment before calibration. Next, in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> An alignment should be performed prior to calibration to make sure the thrust line is within specifications. As part of the alignment, the steering angle sensor should also be reset. Failing to reset the sensor might cause a steering pull and issues with the electric power steering system. It could also make the vehicle think a vehicle in the opposing lane is coming right at them. On some vehicles, the driver may get a warning or correction. If the alignment angles have to be corrected, take a look at the ride height. Changes in the ride height and stance of the vehicle alter how the ADAS sensors are pointed. Check the service information for the fuel level required. Next, make sure all the tires are the same and properly inflated. If the tires have different rolling diameters, it can change the body's height and the aim of the ADAS sensors. Also, before you start with the calibration procedure, make sure the cameras are clean. On newer models, you'll have cameras in the windshield seat pillar and trunk. Wipe down the cameras to remove any dirt or dust that may be obstructing the lens. Also, if a radar sensor is covered in mud or debris, clean that off. A layer of dirt can absorb the ultrasonic or radio waves emitted and received by these sensors. For ADAS to work, the camera needs a clear view of the windshield. This is why almost every ADAS equipped vehicle has an automatic or rain sensing wiper system. But if the system detects too much rain, or the system is running at a fast speed, the lane departure or adaptive cruise control will shut down. If the wiper blades are worn out and leave streaks, ADAS features will also be disabled under certain conditions, and the driver may receive a warning that the camera is blocked. In our next video, we're going to discuss troubleshooting your shop environment as it relates to calibration failures. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.